Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular course. In the previous video, we have seen the login fun functionality. We have improved the error handling thing using the switch case and we divided the code, refactored the code. So we divided the repetitive code and all those things we have divided. Now it's time for us to save the token. So now it's time for us to deal with the token. So successfully the user can be able to log in and also he can be able to sign up and we are successfully getting the token also. Now we need to work on the what I want to say in the token. So now my scenario is what I want to do is so here this, this is the navigation. You, we have the navigation here. So now at the first time when the user is, lo is not logged in we need to show only authenticate. Okay something like login. Okay whatever the thing you want. These all navigation forms should not be there. Okay let's suppose. These all navigation forms should not be there. Whenever the user is logged in successfully we got the token then immediately we need to enable these all the what I can say these these, these all the links these all the links and here authenticate should be should be gone away and you end the logout need to appear. So we need to do this one now. Okay. So before continuing this video if you are coming first time to here please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front-end development courses. Now coming to this video what we what I will be trying to do is so here let's see I will go to the auth.component.ts okay so now when when the user is successfully logged in or sign up we need to move somewhere to the home page okay let's think so before moving so we will re remove this hashing thing okay so this hashing thing we will remove so where we will use hash is equal to true is having right so we can use this one not a problem just i am removing that one so that it will be well formed url it will be now i will be going to the here and what i will try to do is so here on auth.subscribe so i will i want to navigate if you want to navigate what i need to do i need to do private router is router okay we need to import the router here so it should be imported from the ang at the rate angular router okay i imported this router so here top you need to import from the angular router now i go down and what i will try to do is after successfully logged in this dot router dot navigate to the what i can say to the home page so we can keep like this so this is first step so we have navigated uh, the user after successfully logged in after successfully sign up to the home page now the next scenario is so in the auth service dot so in the app component dot html we are having the these are all the links let's divide this one into a separate component so that it will be very easy for us so what i will try to do is i will try to create a new component that is navigation navigation and here in this navigation i will be having navigation dot component dot html and another one i will be having navigation dot component dot ts okay so these are the two files what i will be trying to create here if i go here and here i will be writing export class navigation component okay so this one is a navigation component so let's keep it like that only and let's write uh, declare the decorator component okay so here is the component okay so sometimes my system will not tell these all things so i don't know why this visual studio code sometimes behaves weirdly so now here i can go to the component see this time now it is telling that component thing okay i can go to the selector and i can keep this one as app hyphen navigation and i need to use template url now here i am using you remember that i am using the template url you need to remember this one template url is that thing but navigation dot component dot html okay so first the first is first we created the component and let's add this one in the app dot module so here we will be adding this one in the declaration so here i can write navigation okay navigation component so down we can have and i imported this navigation component and let let's go to the app component.html and let's copy 
only this navigation part okay so i will be copying this all navigation part now i will be copying this navigation.html and i'll be pasting it here okay so it, at the place of here in the app component see here i can use app hyphen navigation okay so i have successfully added this app hyphen navigation so just nothing what i did was i have separated the component navigation component here so that i will be using that authentication concept in this navigation component so now this one is done so let it refresh so now we got the separate component and here we got the separate component so now let's go to the auth okay so we are getting some error i think so let's go and check in the console ng if is not so let's uh, stop this one and we'll, we'll exit it again okay so some problem sometimes uh, compiler will have some problem let's compile it recompile it again now it successfully got compiled now let's go here and if we see so okay fine now the authentication is working now what we need to do is so now when this authenticate is there we need we don't need to show this all links why because user is not logged in so in order to know this user is not logged in we need to so if i write test at the rate test.com and if i use one two three four five six the password of mine if i click on login and here it is going into the home page yeah it's fine now get root router dot navigate what we have written is working but now i need to save the i need to save these all the what i can say these are the lo local id id token these all things i need to save so what we will do now we will try to create a class file okay so what we will try to do is so i will try to create the user dot model dot ts in this one what i will try to do is export class user i will try to create the user okay so user means nothing but the uh, the data what we are getting from the now uh, sign up or login so now what we will be having is we will be trying to create the constructor okay here what i will try to do is public first one is email of type string i will take the email and another one is public local id so the user the user id of the of the user okay the id of that user and another one is private so this one i am keeping it as a private why because this one is a token so token of type string and another one we are having private exp expiration date okay expiration date so i will be having the date of type date okay so i am maintaining these all data so constructor so this is the class user i will be having email local id token and expiration date so right now we will have these all the details in the user okay let's let's have this all the details in the user so when i need when i need this object whenever the user successfully logs in i need this object so where i can get this one from the auth.service.ts so if i go to auth.service.ts so let me go to auth.service.ts if i go to auth.service.ts what what i'll be having so when the user can successfully logged in so here sign up here dot pipe so here we will be having and also login here we will be getting that one so now what i can write i can use another rxjs operator tap operator so what it will do is after successful response you will be getting the response here so that i can make use of this response so what i can do tap response i will be getting okay so the same response i will be getting and here what i can do con constant user is equal to new user of okay i need to create an object new user of so what is the thing it is saying first one is the email so i can tell i can tell response dot email right so now another one what is that one Re response dot local id okay so that's also fine response dot id token i think so that is the ah, yeah id token and another one is response dot expires in so right now if you ch if you check in the uh, fi uh, firefox uh, sorry if you check in the firebase so if you check in the firebase if you check in the firebase so the expires date you will be not getting it as a date you will be getting it as a uh, what i can say is uh, <coughs> you will be getting it as number of seconds so you will be getting number of seconds if you go here and if you check the sign up thing you will be getting it as a number of seconds so right now if you check here uh, if you go 
and it will if you go here and if you check and here if you check you will be having sign in with email or password if you go here you will be having expire sin you will be getting the number of seconds the number of seconds in which the id token expires so you are getting the number of seconds so now you need to convert it into the expiration date so how we can convert so right right let's now take constant expire date is equal to new date i can write new date of so new date i can take the date dot get time so it will give you the number of milliseconds okay number of milliseconds from the unix time so from the 1970 it will give you plus what i can do response dot expires in i can take the i can take the uh, seconds i can multiply this one into thousand okay so so this one is the expiry date what i'll be getting so now here i can send the expiry date here okay so what i am doing so expiry date i am cali i am converting that one to date i am calculating the so right now the number of milliseconds right now i am getting i am adding plus 10 plus the plus 3600 into 1000 that means milliseconds so i am adding that one i will be getting the future date so that is the expiry date so i send this one now this is the user i have created in the same scenario in the login also i need to create the same thing like tap so what we will try to do is we will try to create a new function that is nothing but what i can do is private handle user or something like this i will create okay i will be having what i can say uh, we will be getting the response of type what i can say auth response data so we can write auth response data directly we can implement the auth response data so the type of user we will be getting so here what i can do i can copy this all the thing okay I can copy this all the thing and here I can write it directly constant here uh, something like yeah so this is the thing I can write it directly and what I can do here instead of using tap dot uh, something like that I can directly use this dot handle user so this will handle that one and in the same scenario what I can do here here also tap of this dot handle user okay so i can write directly like this so this is the scenario how we can implement so we are getting some error i think yeah so no problem okay so now i am tapping this one so whenever we got the successful request we will be using this handle user okay so in this way we got the user thing so what we will try to do is in the next video we will try to use this user data and we will try to uh, uh, show the links according to the you when the user is logged in you will show the navigation links or when the user is not logged in you will show the will not show the navigation links you'll see you'll see it in the next video so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you